Hey there guys, DeAndre Yates here and welcome to another episode of Subtract Reactions where we subtract the bullshit and give you guys honest reactions. So I think I'm going to go ahead and do another reaction video here. This is Tyrone Magnus watching Jeremy John's reaction to watching the Star Wars The Force Awakens trailer. I actually saw Jeremy John's reaction already. Like as soon as I saw him post that video, I clicked it immediately. I was like, oh man, Jeremy John's is doing reactions now? Yeah, baby! <laughs> now, if you don't love Jeremy Johns, you can actually find a couple of my videos where I'm watching some of his reviews, specifically that Medical Solid 5 fucking Phantom Pain review, and I'm still working on the campaign of that game, so I've not yet seen his spoiler review, and uh, I really want to see that fucking video, but uh, yeah, man, let's go ahead and do it. This is also another chance for me to watch that fucking trailer. Ah, I love Star Wars. Alright, <clears throat> let's do it. Your sister, so the potential a fucking ad? Are you serious? Know the power of a I love these intros as Tyrone's been doing. There's been an awakening. Have you felt it? Ah, I can't wait for Star Wars! Oh man, this is gonna be good. Yeah, Jeremy I'm John freaking is out. Probably right. my favorite movie reviewer on YouTube. He's right. probably actually the most popular too. Yeah. Um but he's the best to me. He's definitely in my top three. He he ranks number one and then I got a couple others right after him and when I heard he did a reaction to Star Wars The Force Awakens, I was like, really? <laughs> he did uh, a reaction. I've got to check this out. Yeah. Wait a minute. You have the king of movie reviewers on YouTube. And the king of reactors in the same video. A singularity could form here. <laughs> if I don't come back. Oh my reaction, god, he's fucking crazy. Know that I love you all. <laughs> but seriously, if you haven't had a chance to check out Jeremy, he's hilarious. Oh, man. I really do hope Sarah Jeremy does more reactions. We actually I got tears in my eyes already, guys. You know why? Before going to see a movie. Like, I'd be like, yo, you want to see this? you like, did you see Jeremy's review yet? Yeah, I'm that's like, how, like, yeah, yeah, right, that's that's how I am, much. man. I do yeah, that. We'll I watch his review right before there, I watch a movie. If we're going to see it based on him. So, let's check this out. Uh, see, anytime anyone does anything to Star Wars, <laughs> yeah, I'm just like, ah. Oh. I got my right. trigger shirt. Hi, Gypsy. Yeah, I got doggy, too. Yeah. <laughs> that was Gypsy. That was one of my dogs. All right. The last trailer that came out for Star Wars, you oh, like, you should have done a reaction I actually saw this, video. yeah, I saw Jeremy's uh, reaction to this. I've like, never done a reaction video before, so... Oh, it's your first. Hold up, this is paused. I haven't seen it yet. I'm <laughs> really still, excited. He's still green. He's still green. He's pulled up his paws. So, uh, we're, I'm going to play it. We're going to watch it together. And we're going to react. So, Star Wars. let's watch The Force Awakens with the power of the game. It's a pretty good substantial amount of views there. For your first reaction video. Yeah, man. I think my first video sells like in the 50s or 40s, so. <laughs> mm. Alright. Alright, let's go. I love that part when the when the top already goes near the camera and just goes. Woo! I love that. All right, sorry. Nothing will save it away. I will finish. What you started. Like he must be tearing his mind apart. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you like it, boy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah man. All it. It's all true. And the yeah, music starts. Yeah. Good boy. <laughs> oh, that that shot, that one <laughs> shot right there. I love that. Oh man. All right. I'm sorry. I knew you <laughs> liked it. I'm acting like I'm seeing this again for the first time. Look at that tear. You see that tear? Look at that, guys. Oh, man. 
see, you know Star Wars is too real for me. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Yep. 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 There he is. Wow. Yeah, John Boyega. Get it, man. Get it. <laughs> Jeremy, if you're watching me react to you, this is called Reactception. Yes. The that... reactors of oh, the man. YouTube universe know what this is. I love I love that tone. I love that trailer. <laughs> yeah, okay. and it grows on um, you. I watched oh it like gosh. 15, 20 well, times. Yes. Oh it's my god. Um, yeah. I, love the I have that, that saved to my phone. I love the fact that Han Solo's like, yeah, it's real. It's hooky religions, ancient weapons. They're fucking religions. legends. It's all real. Um, John, John Boyega at the end looks scared going up against Kylo Ren. Um, oh my god. He's scared and everything. <laughs> See, he's like me. He's like, oh man. There's going to be a trailer review coming. This is just kind of the prelim. I love the fact that I wanted to do a Star Wars trailer, but I didn't want to know anything else about the movie. I just don't want to know about the movie before going in. J.J. Abrams in the past has been very good at having trailers and you really not knowing anything about the plot. Yeah. That's what he did here. It's like Star I love trailers stuff. like that. Yeah, My Hideo know. Kojima trailers. J.J. Abrams and Hideo Kojima trailers are very similar. Terminator eyeball is from the poster, so I'm very happy about that. I, uh, I'm going to watch this 48 more times and then do a video for you guys. But uh, I love this trailer. This is how trailers should be. Exciting. Yes, cool, but you don't know anything emotional, about them, and you know nothing about it. Yep. So give us the movie. When I'll it talk comes more out. about it in the review. Fantastic. Um, all right. Because I know exactly <laughs> what you're talking about. <laughs> I'm going to do a trailer review now. Well, I'm going to watch this 48 more times. You know, yeah. <laughs> Look how excited he is. Although I'm going to watch this 48 more times. Nah, it's your reaction, man. That's what it is. Because I love Star Wars so much. I really do. I love it. It's just, <laughs> yeah, he's like a kid again. He's like a kid. I love that. Click right here to see more. Yeah, <laughs> punch you. Uh, oh man, that's funny. That's fucking hilarious. What was I gonna say? I was gonna train of thought. There's his uh, his uh, his trailer reviews here, so I'm definitely gonna check that out. Um, but you did good, man, for your first reaction video. You might want to do more. Yeah, you know, do more, like, man. Anyway. Jeremy um, X, do yeah. more. Yeah, uh, I, I knew he'd like it, and it's his first reaction, and I've been a fan of his for years, so I had to check that out. Post all your comments down below. Let me know what you thought. If you enjoyed my reaction to Jeremy John's reaction, if you enjoyed watching The Two Kings, the singularity form of power, hit the like button. Subscribe and share. If you did not, you will hit the like button. Subscribe. And share. <laughs> you will hit the like button. Subscribe and share. One of those subscribers. Woo! Yeah, man. watching this video dude first of all you need to do some more reactions man do you know how awesome dude do you know how awesome reaction videos are because it gives you a chance to watch the content and then as soon as the content ends you can do a review of that said content you know what I mean and it's just it's so many possibilities Jeremy you will grow your fucking subscriber base I swear it's more than that though it's not just about getting more subscribers it's about making another connection with your audience man so definitely do more fucking reaction videos Jeremy but I fucking love that video guys but what Jeremy was talking about earlier how you can make a trailer without ruining the plot um, Hideo Kojima does this too JJ Abrams did this with the Star Wars trailer and what you do is you throw some dialogue in there, you know, mixed around dialogue so that it gives you an idea of the plot, but it doesn't spoil the plot for you, you know what I mean? Like Terminator Genesis. You can look at that trailer and pretty much depict how the entire movie's gonna play out. It spoils the twist in there, 
and you know that's something you don't want to do so the way you make a good trailer and this is what I do with my little homemade fucking movies that I did I think I threw one of my little homemade trailers in there a couple videos ago but um you really want to get some good music going and I'd, I'd recommend getting an entire song you can be a hip-hop rock song whatever you want the tone of the trailer to be play a big majority of that song through the trailer and then just have different shots of your movie you know what I mean and it lets the audience know what is in the movie so that they have an idea of what to expect but they don't know what the movie's about they don't know what the plot is that's why i love the metal gear solid 5 trailers that's why everybody loves the metal gear solid 5 trailers uh nuclear by mike oldenfield i believe that's his name i'm not sure i fell in love with the song after seeing the metal gear solid 5 uh hideo kojima trailer it was like one of the first trailers that came out for the game the first true trailers it was used in a red band trailer and uh, that song is amazing with that game and trailers like that i feel like that's how movies need to start making their trailers you know what i mean where you have this background music and you just have different shots of the movie and you're seeing all these things and you're like dude what the fuck is this movie about you know what i mean and that's what many good solid trailers did that's what the star wars movie trailer did and if movies started doing that more with their trailers you will grow your audience because you're going to have people talking about it. You're going to have all these speculation videos come out on YouTube, you know what I mean? And that's what trailers are supposed to do in general. Trailers are supposed to make you speculate. They're supposed to make you wonder. Just make you talk about the movie. That's what trailers are supposed to do. And the editing's beautiful and the music's amazing, but you have no idea what it's about. J.J. Abrams is really good at doing that. Jeremy just said it in his reaction that, you know, he has a history of being able to create these trailers for his movies like Super 8. He did a really good job with that with Super Super 8. I remember when, like, the first time people heard about that, people were like, what the hell is it about? Then he released that 30-second teaser trailer where the truck was just, like, going down the railroad track and it just slams into the train and just, like, the biggest explosion happens. You're like, what the fuck is this movie about? You know what I mean? They were so secretive, but it did its job and it made you speculate about the movie, it made you wonder what's gonna happen next. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Alright, guys, but I feel like I've talked for a long time now, so I'm gonna go ahead and try to end it right here. But as always, if you like my reaction, please be sure to like and share this video for me. And if you're going to do all that, how about you leave a comment and tell me what I need to react to in the future. And if you're going to do all that, how about you hit that subscribe button and join the family, baby. But uh, yeah, man, this was nice. A good little reaction video for you. And uh, yeah, man, nice. Keep up the good work, Jeremy. I hope you do some more reactions, man. I'm always going to watch your reviews. Tyrone, you're fucking amazing. And uh, <laughs> I like how I just threw that. Tyrone, you're fucking amazing. <laughs> Yeah, guys, but uh, I hope you liked it, and I'll uh, talk to y'all later, man. Peace!